March is National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. According to the CDC, among cancers that affect both men and women, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Experts say the majority of these deaths can be prevented with early screening. News 10's Hannah Fullman explains just how devastating this illness can be for everyone around it. Today I spoke with one local couple. They discussed with me their difficult journey with colon cancer over the past few years. Anne and Bill Bailey are Terre Haute residents. In 2018, Bill was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer just a week before their wedding. He did not have a family history. Um, he was not over 50, so technically didn't qualify to get a colonoscopy. So it took a lot of work before he finally got it. And when he did, that's when he found out that he had um, cancer. Because he was under 50 years old, it took them nearly six months to get a colonoscopy that insurance could cover. Now he's fighting for his life. It spread to his liver first and his lymph nodes, and now it's spread to his lungs, so it's made him um, ineligible for any type of surgery. Um, he recently um, just found out that he's not really responding to treatment. Alinda Fuquay is a gastrologist nurse practitioner at Union Hospital. She told News 10 that a recent study found 60% of those diagnosed with colon cancer could have been prevented with early detection. That is why she is emphasizing the importance of staying up to date with screenings and colonoscopies. One of the main reasons for this is a lot of times there are no symptoms until the cancer is far advanced. Um, early detection is key. Um, it's not something that you generally have symptoms from until it's already fairly progressed. Bill wishes he could have been checked sooner, and that's why he wants you to get checked when you can. Be your own advocate. If you think something is wrong and something's off, you know your body. Fight for yourself until somebody listens.